Welcome to the May 22nd waterlogged edition of the checklist on Fairberry TV. I'm FJN editor Ben Schwartz. At the top of the video I want to share some information we just got in. Fairberry Swimming Pool Committee interviews with the three contractors who might end up building the new pool are scheduled for this Wednesday, May 24th at 6 p.m. and the following Wednesday, May 31st, also at 6 p.m. These are open to the public and will be at the City Council Chamber, so if you want to get an idea of what the new pool might look like, uh, feel free to stop on by. There weren't exactly ideal conditions for the state track tournament in Omaha over the weekend, but somehow, some way, everyone got through it. Despite the rain, all of our area schools had at least one medalist. I know a lot of people followed along with the results on our Facebook page. We still have those posted up there, along with some photos. And of course, we're going to have the results and photos in this week's edition of the Fairbury Journal News as well. It wasn't any drier closer to home. Heavy rainfalls filled area waterways to the brim. In some cases, they did spill out over the banks. The good news is so far there hasn't been any structure damage, at least that we are aware of, caused by flooding. That is a report from Jefferson County Emergency Manager John McKee. We spoke with him this morning. He said, as of right now, flooding has been limited to low-lying cropland. He also said the area uh, should avoid major trouble as long as we don't get much more heavy rain. I'm looking out the window right now. It's sprinkling. Uh, the forecast says that we might get some thunderstorms tonight. Uh, but after that, nothing until Thursday. So keep the Lord in your hearts and keep your powder dry, folks. Crystal Springs in Fairbury was the place to be Saturday as Blue Valley Community Action Partnership held their annual Duck and Run event and the Fairbury Optimist Club hosted the Thomas Wright Memorial Free Family Fishing Day. Trevor, do you fish? No, I don't. I don't. I don't fish either. I like fishing for touchdowns on Tecmo Bowl. Hey, That's what I like to do. Yeah. But my kid likes it. I know he's going to get me out there trying to fish this summer. It's not going to go well. Rock Creek Station hosted Living History. That's going to happen every third weekend of the month through October starting at 10 a.m. This last weekend saw the return of the blacksmiths, which sounds like a fantasy novel. Rock Creek Station, Return of the Blacksmiths. <laughs> they also had all the buildings open for the public to come and check out. Uh, despite the less than ideal conditions, nearly 40 riders were registered to take part in the 9th Annual Fairbury Cycling Tour. Trevor, did you ride in the tour? I drove. Does that count? <laughs> well, it's more than I did. <laughs> the event began with a brief meeting inside the Jefferson Community Health and Life with the riders departing thereafter. Finally, looking ahead to this weekend, assuming we all keep our heads above water, you've got the 30th Annual Fairbury Girls Softball Invitational, which begins on Friday, and that's going to be a big deal. So best of luck to all the teams. Again, we're going to have results from the state track meets in Wednesday's paper, so check that out. That is this edition of the checklist for Fairbury TV. I'm FJN editor Ben Schwartz. Thanks for watching.